Hey, what's up? It's Aaron Say what? Welcome back to Subnautica. The music is so eerie, but I love it. So anyways, I was actually looking at their Trello, which is like a development road kind of thing. It's like a website that you can see what they're working on, what's done, how much is done of what they're currently working on. Um, when it's gonna like, you know, what's coming, what's coming next, what's, you know, on the back burner, all that stuff. Um, and I was experimenting and I was seeing, okay, this is, they say they're working on this or, but it's done. So I'm going to see if it's in the experimental build. And there's actually more stuff than I thought that I could spawn in. That's not even in the game yet. So anyways, let's just go over to our base for the first little second. Um, and to check out something pretty cool. -da -da. Uh, hold on. It's pretty slow. So let me just speed things up. Oh my god, it's really loud, Woo! you're probably thinking holy shit Aaron that's a fast sea glide, but wait, there's more, it's not the sea glide, it's a power glide, I, I this, that's awesome, so you got like, obviously it's just faster, but right mess button to activate power surge, um, so the regular one and then the power glide, so yeah, I saw that they were working on it and I was like, you know, what? I'll try spawn it in, and I spawned it in and it works. It's just really loud, but other than that, let me show you something else that's cool. Um, so you remember in the last, yeah, it was the last episode where I showed you guys this, the thermal plant charge. I did have something else here, a compost charge thing, but I took that away because I'm testing something and my theory works. So I was like, huh, this needs uranium, but uranium's not in the game. But what if we type in item to spawn it in uranium? It is in the game. Well, I mean, technically it's not, but, uh, where is it? Right there. So, I already have some in this. Man, look at this. You just click on it. You click on it, and then, ta-da, you add the uranium. Um, and it's just like that. So, you got 150 out of 150. Hold on, wait. Okay, yeah. 150. I thought it was like 50 for a second. Uh, I'm blind. Anyways, if we go in here, the whole thing, like, rocked. Anyways, yeah, so we got a full 150 out of 150 charge. So, our base is now nuclear powered, which is pretty awesome. Um, or fission powered, whatever you want to, I don't, I don't know, nuclear. Uh, but anyways, so that's not the only thing. Also, I have this thing. I keep hitting I for inventory, so pardon that. Uh, as a laser cutter, which cuts open sealed things. As of now, it doesn't do anything. Like, there's nothing I can... It looks just like the welder, but yeah, there's nothing I can do with it. Um, I've tried a bunch of stuff. Like, I literally tried on the inside. Uh, I would try if there was like a hole in the base to try to weld it back up with this. I don't think that'd work though Yeah, it's not doing anything. I tried it on fish and it doesn't do anything either um, So that's a little bit of a bummer I mean that because it's kind of in the game like you can already build it But I don't know maybe there is something that you need to cut open I just haven't found it yet, but also I was uh, spawning in some other stuff and I found out Some other cool things that are gonna be in the game really soon. So if I go to my inventory um, Aquarium uh, it doesn't look very big because like you can see like the 3d model the sketching or like the you know the what it's gonna look like basically it doesn't look very big and it's for like when you have like your base you can put it in your base because they're currently working on actual rooms instead of just corridors um so when you can like when you have an actual room you can put an aquarium in it uh it, like i said it doesn't look very big but you can probably hold like a couple fish like maybe some peepers in there if you want it's not like you can put a reef back or <laughs> anything in there but it's pretty cool uh i can't get it to work at all like i can't drag the like, I'm trying to assign the question mark to, like, you know, down at the bottom, one to five. But it doesn't work. If you drop it, it just drops as a square uh, as well. If I'm trying to do this observatory, which is an actual, like, big circular open room with a bunch of windows. It doesn't work either. Um, like I said, I, I've just been experimenting to see what will work. See, it doesn't work. Um, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah. It goes fast. Oh, yeah, there's this thing down here. Um, because they're, they're done with the Sea Emperor, like I can, I looked and they're done with all the Sea Emperor, uh, animations and stuff, but I can't spawn it in anymore, so I try to spawn it in as an item and drop it, see, Leviathan, it doesn't work, look at this, doesn't work, I can't do anything, just drop it, oh no, the Leviathan, and you guys know that I had a video called, like, Sea Emperor, um, and I spawned it in like this, doesn't work anymore, unfortunately, so that kind of stinks. Actually, I don't think you can spawn in the Reaper Leviathan anymore. Whoops, wrong button. I don't, no, not item. <laughs> spawn Reaper Leviathan. No, see, you can't. Why'd you take it away? I'm <laughs> sorry. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I mean, other than the fact that it gets really loud whenever you use the boost, it could be like, you know, very helpful if you need to like rush to the top for oxygen. Um, 
As of right now, you know, I'll, I'll turn the auction off so I can test this theory rather than just say it. I have auction always on like full or unlimited, so just so I can, you know, make videos, show you guys without having to go up and down, up and down. But yeah, we'll wait down here um, once it gets to like 10 and we'll try to race up. I, I, I never tested this. So I could die. Maybe it's not fast enough. Look how cool this looks. The beard of Titan looks so awesome. Ah, it's such a immersive game. And now we just wait. We just wait. Okay. Ready? Ready? Almost. Here we go. Now. Emergency. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Yes. Woo. That is awesome. That works really good. Uh, loud, but really good. So, anyways, there we go. Yeah, look how cool this looks, man. Like the, the light blue beard of Titan writing. Oh black blue orange yeah it, it just looks so cool uh, also I don't know if I showed this in the last video I, I think I did um, this cool little locker yeah like 99% sure I did but uh, if I didn't there it is and the the Cyclops is still the same all right anyways that's gonna do for this video I was trying to see if there's anything else that I missed but as of now I think I covered pretty much anything I know they're adding some other stuff in the game they're adding like more hall plates and stuff but uh, I don't know about you, but I want my own damn hall plate. Come on. I've played this game a lot longer than most of the people that have their own hall plates. Um, I think there should be an Aaron Say What in a Hux Thor hall plate. Wouldn't that be cool? I, mean, I have my own like little hall plate. I'm saying that word too much, but uh, let me just show you what they look like. Nothing big, but uh, yeah. Yeah. I apparently don't have enough uh, material to finish this, but uh, let's just do that. Yeah, that's all it is, but uh, I want my own, damn it. Get it here, bikeman. Anyways, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Uh, I'm going to always like keep doing Subnautica stuff, like as long as there's new stuff in it. Because I really enjoy this game. It's so, like, you know, it's so different from everything else, like, than your regular open world sandbox survival mode or survival games. So, uh, yeah, and I really love the concept. So, anyways, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Make me little spiders. Ha! Huh. You're not you're not a match for me. Alright. Okay. Um, we'll try five spinos. <laughs>